These stories are real life accounts of terror, horror, and all the evil that lives among us. Here's my account, so turn off the lights and settle in for Kate D's Mysteries. Hey everybody, so welcome to my first episode of Kate D's Mysteries. Today we are going to be talking about the very dark, disturbing account of Colleen Stan. She was abducted by Cameron and Janice Hooker. Colleen Stan was hitchhiking. She was going to surprise her parents and um, she was trying to get back to her hometown. Red Bluff, California. So she was hitchhiking basically in the desert and this was in 1977 so hitchhiking was a thing back then. Um, if you know now never pick up a, a hitchhiker. Um, something bad could happen to you. You could get raped, tortured, murdered. All the things that happened to Colleen. So let's not be like Colleen. No offense to Colleen but like let's not <laughs> let's not start hitchhiking again. I was actually the other day in uh, Breckenridge and people were hitchhiking at the bus stop and I was like sketchy. So Cameron and Janice Hooker had been married. He, Cameron, Cameron at five years old um, started a obsession with BDSM. If you don't know what BDSM is, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism. Masochism. There we go. <laughs> so. He was obsessed with that since five. Uh, since he was five, he would draw pictures of um, women tied up, and it would tickle his fancy. And but he took it too far. He met Janice, and she played along with his fantasies. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when you take it out of line to kidnapping, torturing, making people your slave, that's where you got a problem. Okay, <laughs> so he. Um, Janice would uh, let Cam Cameron tie him, tie her up, and she would um, take his discipline. And so it got to the point where Janice stopped being a participant or couldn't take the abuse. And so, like the narcissist Cameron is, he talked her um, talked Janice into getting a slave. And so they first killed, they supposedly, uh, the couple, they supposedly killed um, a woman before that, but her body and remains were never found. And so when they picked up Colleen, um, everything seemed fine. And then in the drive, it took a dark turn. And Cameron pulled over, and there was a box sitting next to Colleen. And Colleen didn't notice it until things started going out of hand. So he pulled over and there was a slit for a head and a neck to fit into this box. And Colleen's head was put inside of it. Now when Colleen ba got back to the house, it she was put in the basement in the box and laid on a board naked and her head in the box. And she was tortured tortured for about a year and was only taken out to eat and to be tortured and um, for sexual abuse. So it got to the point where Cameron's neighbor was also their, their house manager and the house manager he wanted to get down into the basement to check on the furnace and he had codes or violations and something that he had to figure out so the house would stay up to date. And so Cameron, after being bugged and bugged about this, he finally told Janice that they had to move. And so they moved to a trailer out in the desert in California and that's where um, the abuse changed. Colleen kind of became a burden to them because Janice, while she was okay with the act of him having a slave because that meant that she wasn't going to be tortured or hurt anymore, it made her jealous in a way 
and she would get jealous of the time Cameron would spend with Colleen. And so it became a cycle of Colleen basically being tortured by Cameron and then treated like a dog by Janice. And so in the new house they got a, a bed and then they put a hole under the bed and then they locked it so when they would sleep most of the time um, Colleen would spend her time in the box in a hole that resembled kind of like a coffin underneath and she would live her life in that box after years of being tortured in a basement with her head in a box she upgraded to a coffin box so Cameron Cameron um, decided that he to make Janice happier he was going to say hey babe let's let's start making children and so Cameron decided to get Janice pregnant and so they all were a happy family what have you so messed up and um, after she had the baby Janice realized that there was too many people in her marriage and so she started getting very distant from Cameron and contemplated leaving him and so because Janice wasn't putting out Cameron was secretly having sex with Colleen and it may seem weird that Janice didn't know but I guess she was just that oblivious and like are you serious? Like, if your man is weird enough to have a slave in the basement, you don't think he's okay. Or, all right, Janice, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but what the hell? So, um, Colleen was very adamant and pushy. Every single time she got out of the box, she's, when can I go home? When can I go home? And, um, Cameron would say that they were in an agency and that, and made Colleen signed a piece of paper saying that she was a part of the agency and that she belonged to Cameron. And so, oh, this whole time she thought if she were to run away or get back to her family that this agency would have killed her family or killed her or made just life worse for everybody. And so that's what kept her in fear. Even times where she could have ran, she knew that she thought that the agency was going to reprimand her. One night while Cameron was was intimate with um, Colleen, he, it was kind of like, what is it called, where you start to love your captor? It was kind of like that, but she knew she wanted to get out. But when you're stuck in a box 24-7 and someone finally gives you a hug, I mean, I think everybody would have after years and years like just started to live their life like that you know and she accepted it it's sad so um Colleen finally convinced Cameron to let her see her family and the creepy part is is that there's actually pictures of her going back and seeing her family and her having to win a fucking Oscar because she, like you go to visit your family you've been raped and tortured for years and years and you have to act like everything's fine like damn Colleen like you are you win an Oscar you're an amazing girl but she ended up going back home with him and then um, Janice decided that she was going to leave she was going to leave Cameron because there was too many people in the relationship and having you know, um, Colleen and Cameron gone that time, I think it made her reevaluate her life and be like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> and so Colleen, Colleen packed up her children and she left. And, um, and then Cameron went into a huge psychotic meltdown and he had already built at their new house, um, a shed and he dug a hole and had um, basically a cellar with no way for her to get out and it wasn't properly insulated so like when it would rain she'd be down there naked freezing 
and it just wasn't humane. And so he stuck her down there because, I mean, they were getting intimate and everything, but then once Janice left with his kids, I mean, he's already a psychopath, so like, what, you guys are going to have a happy relationship now? No. And so um, Janice came home one day. Well, not home, but like back to um, the place. She opened the cellar. She got um, Colleen out, drove her to the bus stop, and said, go home. And that is the end of the kidnapping of Colleen Stan. And I think the lesson we have to learn from this is do not hitchhike you for coming to my first edition of Kate D's Mysteries. Bye, guys.